Hi, I'm Daniel with Plumpy Thimble. Today I'm going to show you how to play Sequoia from BoardGameTables.com. Now, keep in mind everything in this video is prototype components, so the final edition is going to look a little bit different. In Sequoia, two to five players compete to grow the tallest trees in the forest. To begin, each player is given 20 tree tokens and five dice. 11 tree cards labeled 2 through 12 are placed on the table, with the first place and second place scoring tokens placed above each one. Turns are played simultaneously. All players roll their five dice, keeping the results hidden. Out of the five dice, they then choose four to create two sets of two dice. Each set's numbers are combined to match one of the forest cards. For instance, if a player rolls two, one, one, five, and six, they may choose to add their two and their six together to represent an eight, and their two ones together to represent a two. Once everyone is ready, players show their results and place a tree token on each of the two matching tree spaces. Should a player roll the same number on all five dice, they then shout Sequoia and reveal their hand. They may then rotate all of their dice to any face they desire, splitting them into two sets of two like normal. There will always be one die per player that goes unused each turn. After 10 turns, players will have exhausted their pool of tree tokens, and the game will end. To begin scoring, evaluate the tree sizes of each tree card by counting the stacks each player has made. If one player has more tree tokens than anyone else, they receive the first place point token. If there is a tie, all non-tied tree tokens are removed, and no token for that forest is awarded yet. In the event that there is no tie for first place in a forest, you may then evaluate for a second place. If there's a tie for second place, remove all non-tied tree tokens and do not award the second place token yet. Tiebreaker rounds. Any player that still has tree tokens on tree cards at this point will proceed into a tiebreaker turn. This turn is played the same as before, but tree tokens can only be placed on locations where players already have tree tokens remaining. At the end of this turn, trees are evaluated again. Tiebreaker turns are played until there are no more scoring tokens to be awarded. The player with the most points wins the game.